This is Grumpy Gamer. Welcome back to another episode of uh, Walking Dead, episode two. I believe Kumatan was in the barn, so we're gonna go talk to her. Probably give her a hat back. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> hey there, Andy. Yeah. Um, when do you think uh we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Uh-oh. I think he raped her or something. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Thanks. Yep. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I don't think so, Clem. Not the way the world is now. Just, uh, I don't think I could do that. Oh, maybe when the world gets better, then. Maybe. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Nothing in here. I want to play in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Empty. A big waste of time. Gonna head out this back door. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? You're being stupid, Kenny. Stupid? Stupid? Nice one, Lee. <laughs> Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise. 
boys back there, Lee. What? It's a meth lab. The point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal on those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. What's your genius idea, Professor? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Because you're black. Well, Racist. You're, you know, urban? <laughs> oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? What's behind this door, Andy? Just tools. We keep it locked so the people in the woods don't try and grab them. Uh, we'd be dead without them. Hey, uh, do me a favor. D don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. I must have a little girl in there. Distract Andy to get him out of the barn. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. <clears throat> Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Should ask him. I don't. Could ask him for a screwdriver, but I figured it might draw a suspicion. Oh wow, we got any more stall doors? Come on. There. It's a feeding trough. No shit. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Smells pretty foul. Let me go look at this again. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. Crap. you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. What about those generators? I still can't get that lock off the door. Hmm. You probably just need a screwdriver no or something. Shit. <laughs> All right, so I need to go. Sabotage the generator so that he leaves and the zombies come in so that I can look behind that door. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, oh I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boss. There he's got home. game. I couldn't do it without him.
Oh, there's a toolbox right in front of me. I saw it. Oh, what's this? A saw. Oh, run and look at it. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. He's breaking and entering, and he's worried about stealing the screwdriver. how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. Wow, sure got Mom, dark fast. Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. They're gonna make me do this four times. Why was there so much blood in there? 
Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. That's cool, we got cannibals. I wanna join up with these guys. You wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse me, miss. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. This dairy must have meant a lot to them before the walkers destroyed everything. And his college degree. These boys aren't stupid. And his baseball trophy. Seems like it's been years since kids were playing sports for fun. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. That's where they keep the victims. Gauze pads. Could use a shave. Some kind of lotion. Nothing else in there, let's see if we can go up the stairs. Well, I've been recording a while, so a good place to wrap up this episode. This is Grumpy Gamer, we'll see you next time.